So what I got here for this build is a $7 replacement handle for an axe, a four inch length of threaded plumbing pipe, and then I have two caps to fit that pipe. Next I have a 36 inch length of 5 16 inch rod, and then I have two 3 16 inch quick links, then I have a wire rope clip, and then two feet of solid chain. Don't get the cheap stuff like the uh, wire braided dog chain. The welded links are the only way to go because the wire stuff falls apart after a while. Okay, what I'm going to do is draw four straight lines down the whole length of the pipe. And each of those lines need to be perfectly opposite each other. And then every single one of those lines is going to get a mark every three quarter inches. Okay, and then you pick two sets of lines that are opposite each other. And where there were three quarter inch spacing, you make a mark dead in the center of that, which would be three eighths. And that's going to look something like this. And I'm going to drill on these points right here. This is so that when the spikes pass through, they all miss each other. Okay, I'm gonna drill all these holes out now. I'm gonna start off with an eighth inch drill bit because if you would just go to 3 16 it'd be a little harder. Before I do that though, I'm gonna use a center punch to uh, mark out where all the holes need to be. And it leaves a small dent so that the drill bit uh, follows it. Now I'm gonna cut the rod up into lengths that I need. I'm gonna cut it at three and a quarter inch sections because the inside diameter is one inch and then each of the walls is an eighth inch. So you gotta take away one and a quarter inches off whatever you want. And I want one inch sticking out each side. Okay, now I'm gonna drill two 3 16 inch holes at either end of this cap to fit the wire rope clip. It's what the chain's gonna attach to and it's gonna connect it to the axe handle. Okay, I have a piece of piping here and it's got a one and a quarter inch inside diameter. I'm gonna slip this over the top of the ax head and then I'm gonna crimp the end shut, drill a hole through it, and then that's what the chain's gonna attach to. Okay, I'm gonna add a few parts to the list and that's a brass ring and another bolt with a nut to go with. The reason I'm adding these is because my original plan was to actually hot forge this together and then drill a hole through that and then that's what the chain would connect to. But after thinking about it for a while, I just decided to shorten this um, just a bit like to like here, put the bolt through here then put the brass ring on that and then attach the chain to that. It's gonna be a lot simpler and I don't have to do any uh, forge welding.
And yes, I am well aware that it doesn't quite line up with these holes, but just calm down, calm down. Okay, so as it stands right now, the chain is just a little bit too long. I'm gonna shorten it to uh, right around a foot. Okay, so here it is assembled. Uh, it's not being held together with anything right now. I'm gonna weld it, but uh, since I don't have a welder, I'm gonna give it to somebody who does. Uh, Welding is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there's just gonna be a small spot weld on each of the bases of the spikes. So next time you see it, it's gonna be welded. Now before I go any further, I'm gonna cut all these sharp corners off because when the brass rings in here, it usually catches on. Now I'm gonna cut off these uh, excess bolt heads. Okay, I got the head back and it's all welded up. Now what I have to do is take the angle grinder and make each one of these spikes the exact same height. This next step is completely unnecessary. The mace head on its own is definitely heavy enough to get the job done, but I have a bunch of lead lying around, so this is just under a pound of lead. And I weighed it and it came out to about 450 grams. So we're gonna melt this down and then I'm gonna dump it into the mace head and that'll add about a pound of weight to it. Last thing I'm going to do this mace is paint it. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to do that, but I decided to. And it's not really for looks, it's for rust prevention. 